Hello my friends and welcome to another Tuesday of Tutorial. I am Leonardo Perez Nieto and today we will draw an elephant. We begin by sketching the rib cage, which is more or less elliptical, and then a circle for the head. From there we do a very basic peanut shape for the body and then the legs. Having that outline we can begin to give it a more anatomically correct shape. Here will be the elbow, the forearm, and the other front leg. Very good! Now the hind legs and the huge ears, which are more or less triangular. This will be an African elephant. And I am drawing this with a fine marker, as you see. Here goes the eye that they have it pretty forward, and the trunk. Now that we have a basic sketch, we go over it to refine it. We draw the shapes more precisely and do any corrections as needed. I am drawing it directly with the marker, which may be a little bit risky and may not be the best idea. Any wrong line made will stay there, because it cannot be erased. If you like to live dangerously, you may want to do it in this way. <laughs> If not, it may be wiser to first do it with pencil, to erase and make any corrections, and then go over it with the marker. We do the shading with hatching and cross-hatching, that is, making lines in different directions. If you noticed, before beginning with the shading, I drew some of the main wrinkles of the elephant. You can do them with a slightly wider marker or by pressing more with the same one. I hope that these wrinkles that you can see on the body will still be perceived after the shading. We drew the cast shadow of the ear, which is pretty dark, and of course you can keep doing wrinkles when shading. We cross the lines to get a darker tone. Elephants are marvelous creatures. Of course they are the greatest among the land animals, and they are among the most intelligent. Currently, the African elephant is classified as vulnerable, and the Asian as an endangered species. This majorly because they continue to be pouched for the ivory of their tusks. So please, never buy anything made out of ivory, and if you know of cases of this happening, report it, as in the majority of the countries it is forbidden. Alright. We continue shading and crossing lines, especially on the lower and back areas, so as to create volume. I love this, drawing elephants is fascinating. By the way, my next book will be about how to draw animals. Therefore, I would love it if in the comments of this video, you will tell me which animals would you like to learn to draw the most. Thank you, and it's ready! If you enjoyed it, please give it a like, share it to your friends, and subscribe to find our tips, and I will see you on Tuesday.